Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Mobile Freak, and today we'll compare speed test between these two devices. We have a Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra on the left side, and we have Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus on the right side. They are both Exynos models, and let's just put them up at the same time with one go. And right now we will see the difference between them because there is a a lot of generation between these two devices and by that we will find out is there any upgrade in terms of speed test in terms of speed and guys S9 plus boot up faster what is wrong with you boot up faster compared to this Note 20 Ultra, so I'll just clean them and put some case and we can start So as you can see that everything is closed in the background I'll show you right now again, and we can start with phone leather Faster on 20 Ultra messages A little bit quicker Play Store Just a little bit quicker on this Note 20 Ultra. Let's open YouTube Again, no 20 Ultra, slightly faster. Let's go first with settings. I didn't click that on this one. Let's do that again. Settings. Slightly faster, no 20 Ultra. Let's go with Facebook. This is pretty much the same, guys. Let's go with WhatsApp, which is here. Same, guys. Let's go with Viber. Just a little bit quicker on this Note 20 Ultra. This is a not a huge deal for right now, guys. Instagram pretty much the same, but still Note 20 Ultra slightly faster. Wish. Guys, this is neck and neck. Let's go with Snapchat. What, what is this, guys? Can you tell me? This one has some screen protector, and I didn't apply any, um, you know, uh, more to, you know, uh, better touch, basically, you know, to to feel any single tap out there. Right? It's just standard one, but when you can, uh, when you apply the screen protector, it just just start to don't recognize every single touch out there. So let's go right now with Jetpack Joyride. And also Note 20 Ultra will be a lot faster device when it comes to gaming. But you know for day-to-day -day usage you will not see the difference in app opening PUBG Mobile right now. Guys, even S9 Plus open this game faster. What is this, guys? What is this? Let's go back to home screen. Right now, we have Angry Birds 2. Okay, this time there is a big di bigger difference. It's not just slightly faster. It's you can see that, you know. Let's go right now with Subway, uh, you know. S Let's go right now with Subway Surfers. A lot faster on this Note 20 Ultra, yeah, a lot faster. And let's go back. We have right now Temple Run 2. Yeah, now you can see the difference, but when you when they are just fresh and without any apps in the background, they are pretty, pretty close in terms of speed test among us. Slightly faster on this Note 20 Ultra in this game. Let's go with color switch.
and right now we will open this 3D mark test and we will see which of these two devices is more likely to be to do a better job in graphic test and by that you understand if you have a better average frame rate in this test you will most likely to get better frame rate in most of the games of course it's not all just that simple but it's nearly like 80% will be like that so let's just wait and see the results And we got the results for both of these two devices and you can see no this score right now is not true it says that Note 20 Ultra is slightly lower average frame rate compared to this S9 plus and that's not true but sometimes you can get this kind of results it's not it's not like that this uh, Note 20 Ultra you can see in some couple of um, other test I tested versus 11 Pro Max uh, versus XS Max it's do a lot better frame rate around 24 or 25.6 something like that which is much better compared to this 14 but right now maybe of some thermal throttling will do just this bad results let's go back to home screen and right now quickly reopen some of the apps i understand this uh, s9 plus will not do great job in graphic in in you know RAM management and by that what i did i need to try to reopen some of the really hard apps and we will see which one is a really you you can see both didn't keep that in memory let's go with pubg mobile both keep this in memory so basically right now i think s9 will start to have problems with no s9 plus keep that also in memory okay let's go with subway surfers both keep that in memory temple run 2 okay both keep these big apps they both keep in the memory which is really great among us okay both keep that color switch they both keep that and let's right now find maybe play store they both reloaded that yeah let's go with youtube they both reloaded that also let's go with facebook maybe both also reloaded that whatsapp yeah both reloading that let's go with instagram And you can see S9 Plus need to reload that. Let's go with uh, maybe a wish. And there, guys, pretty much the same with this RAM management. You know, I'm not disappointed with this S9 Plus when you when it comes to RAM. I don't know how, but they do a really great job, both of them. So basically, that's pretty much it. In day-to-day -day usage. No 20 Ultra will give you much better experience in all aspects, but in speed test, I don't think so because they are not there is not big of the difference between them. But with faster charging speed, with that S Pen, which is the best S Pen ever made, with 120 Hz, with that really really strong camera, which I don't like because I cannot use this No 20 Ultra for video recording because it's not great a lot of a lot of issues with autofocus maybe they, they will improve that but right now 
I'm really not satisfied with my my you know stuff I need for this camera but all aspects like when you record something which is not that like this close you will get really great performance and uh, you know photos are amazing zoom is amazing ultra wide is also amazing everything is amazing except what I cannot recommend this device is because of Exynos 990 it's not that bad if you are not used to gaming you can deal with it but if you're used to gaming you'll pretty much get even better performance on something like iphone xs max it's clearly like that if you didn't saw the you know test on my channel you can say something it's not true or uh, whatever if you look at the test you will understand why a lot of issues with you know thermal throttling like you saw that in this 3d mark when you play around 30, 40 minutes you will get really bad frame rate when you play on 11 pro max after one hour the phone will hit a lot but it will dim the display slightly but it will give you 60 frames per second again which this one doesn't and this one even don't have 90 frames per second in pubg mobile which mid and t pro have which mid and t have guys they need to work on this they cannot cannot give uh to us something like exynos 990 it's not the flagship it, then it's not the flagship make a mid-range give that cpu inside of that and it's it will be okay but don't give in the best uh, the best you know smartphone out there some chipset with problems it's not good it's not good for company it's not good for anybody out there and that's pretty much it thank you very much for watching guys we will see you in the next one and peace